English speaking course. I did not understand. Mom, please close your eyes. Close my eyes? For what? Just do it, please. Trust me. But why? I did not understand. I'm cooking. I want you to see something. What is that? You make me so curious. No, Mom. It's a small surprise. Okay. Open your eyes, Bob. Oh my God, a cake. I made it myself as your gift for Mother's Day. Oh my sweetie, thank you so much. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. Where are you from? Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Sarah. Hi, I'm Alex. Where are you from? Can you guess? Uh, Germany. Oh, how can you know that? Oh, am I right? Yeah, I'm from Germany. Have you ever been there? You know, I spent two weeks in Germany enjoying my summer holiday, and your country is fantastic. Thanks. Where are you from? I'm from France. And I haven't been there. I wish I could visit your country once. Hope so, but the best time to visit France is not now. The weather is not suitable for sightseeing. I will add it to my bucket list. You will have a great time there. I believe that. I got it. Mr. David, you have a meeting in 10 minutes. Miss Sarah, I forgot to tell you, but please cancel the meeting for me. Oh, what happened? I have to go home now. My family has some problems. I mean, my son. I have to go. I got it. Help me rearrange it with the clients. Yes, I will inform you later. And the documents and reports. You tell the departments to send me via email. I will check them. I remember. Do you need me to call the driver? No, I will drive myself. Yes. If there's something you can handle, just do it yourself, or you can call me. I understand, sir. I wish you well. Thank you for being here with me. Don't say that, Lucy. Come on, don't cry. I don't want you to go, but I can't keep you here. I will come back soon. It's only two years. Normally we are always together. It has been more than 10 years. Now you're studying abroad. I don't know what to do without you. You're gonna be all right, I believe that. You are strong. If you keep crying, I won't be able to go. Okay. Go ahead. It's nearly late. I know. I will call you regularly. I wish you well. Remember to take care of your health and do not study too late. Don't take a bath at night. Do you remember? I remember. Goodbye. Bye. Don't cry. I will be back soon. Everything is fine. Henry? Hi, Mom. How's it going? Are you okay? Don't worry, Mom. I'm 15 years old. I know, but everything is fine. Okay. Tell me what you have done today when you're at home. I did all the housework that you told me to. I took out the trash, mopped the floor, and cleaned the bookshelves, too. That's good. I already have prepared all the food in the fridge. You shouldn't order food to eat. But Dad has agreed with me to order pizza for dinner. Oh, dear. I told your father not to do that. 
Just once, Mom. Okay. And don't forget to finish your homework before going to bed. Yes, Mom. Are you kidding? Where are you? On my bed in my room. What's up? Why are you still at home? Oh my god. Hey, what's wrong? Don't tell me you forgot our date today. No, our date is tomorrow. You can't be serious. It's today, right now. No way. It's Friday already. That's right. It's today. We plan to go to the movie and have dinner. Oh, God. I thought it was only Thursday today. I am at the movie theater and you forgot the date. Are you kidding? I'm so sorry, Mina. I'll be right there. You have 20 minutes. We'll probably miss the first part of the movie. Guess that won't be too important. But I want to watch it. Hurry. I know. I'm trying my best. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. You look so happy and full of energy every morning, Julia. Why not? Every day is a new beginning. I like your optimism. I am an optimist. Have you ever woken up feeling upset or having bad energy or something like that? Rarely, to be honest. Only when I can't sleep at night. I often have insomnia. I don't know why or how to solve it. I rarely lose sleep, but sometimes, when it's too stressful, I can't sleep at night and the next morning is a nightmare for me. Exactly. You can drink a glass of hot milk. It is quite effective for those who suffer from insomnia. Really? I will try it. Sure. Thank you, Julia. I dropped in casually. Where did you buy this beautiful dress, Anna? H&M store. And you know what? I got it at the 60% sale-off price. Oh my god, really? Why did you know about the sale in this store? Actually, I dropped in casually when I went to the mall yesterday with my mom. You are so lucky. Right. I saw the announcement of the end-of-season sale of up to 60% and went in to try it. There were so many beautiful things there. I know. Their products are very good quality, but the price is quite expensive. But if you buy it at the sale price, it's quite affordable. That's right. I wish I could be lucky like you. You can go to see it. There are still lots of products, including clothes and accessories. Okay, I will go after work. Daily exercise helps you be fit and healthy. Hey, Hannah. After a summer holiday, you look so great. Really? How? You look like you've changed a lot. I mean, your body. I'm so happy to hear that. How can you do that? Oh, exercise regularly. Really? Sure. Daily exercise helps you be fit and healthy. You know, I have tried that way to lose weight for a month, but I found it not useful. No, Anna. You think it's not useful because you haven't been patient with it enough. You need to do it every day or at least five days a week. And for at least three months, you'll see a noticeable change in your body. Maybe you're right. I will try it again. I hope it can help me keep in shape. Yes, you can do it. God bless you. Why don't you wear a coat? I think it's not too cold. No way! Today is cold. Ah, uh, choo! Ah, uh, choo! God bless you. Thank you. See? You should wear more clothes. How can you wear just one shirt to the street? I thought the weather was warm. 
No way. If you don't keep your body warm, you'll get the flu. I know. I have a coat in my car. Wait for me to get it for you. Thank you so much. Not at all. I do not understand. Why did John refuse to travel with us? I do not understand why he did that. I know, I know. Really? Why? He had a conflict with Alex and they haven't resolved it yet. Oh, man. So he refuses to come with us? Yes, because he knew Alex was with us. He acted like a child. So why did they quarrel with each other? Well, I'm not sure. Only insiders can understand the story. Maybe we should ask Alex. Yeah, then we can help them solve their problems. That sounds better. Let's ask Alex. Enjoy yourself. I'm so excited about my first trip to Russia. Well, I have been there once. How is the country? I have to say that it is really beautiful. No words can describe how amazing the view is. Oh, really? You make me even more excited about this trip. Will you travel for a week? Yeah, about seven to ten days. Got it. Who will you go with? With my parents, of course. I don't have much money like that, you know. That's great. Enjoy yourself. Sure. Didn't you go to the cinema yesterday? How was the movie, Anna? The movie? I didn't watch any movies. Really? Didn't you go to the cinema yesterday? No, Emily. Yesterday I worked overtime at the company till 10 p.m. How could I go to the cinema? Oh, so I am mistaken you for someone else. Have you seen anyone who looks like me? Right. A girl has the same height as you, the same hair color and style. Wow, I didn't know there was someone like me. Yeah, I thought it was you because you usually finish your work at 6 and you sometimes go to the cinema. That's right, but not yesterday. Okay, I got it. What movies did you watch? Spider-Man. Was it great? Sure, you should go see it. May you succeed, may you be successful. I have heard that you will join a singing competition. Exactly. What's its name? Do you know the voice? You will join the voice? Wow, that's amazing. I just want to try it once because you know, singing is always my dream. I want to pursue it as my passion. Great, keep it up. I think you are good enough to join. Well, I know there are a lot of others who are better than me, but I still want to try. Yeah, why not? I guess you can be chosen by at least two judges. You're so funny. Being on stage is enough for me. But if that thing happens, it will be a big chance for me. Try your best. When will you go to the competition? Next week. May you be successful. Thank you. It's my pleasure. How can I help you? I want to find a dress that is suitable for a special occasion. Can I know which occasion? It's my best friend's wedding. I see. Do you have a dress code? Sure. Black and white. That's great. Let me see. Here. I think you will look so stunning when you wear this one. Oh, no. I'm afraid that I can't dress up too outstandingly. You know, the main event is my friend. I got it. How about this one? It's black. It looks elegant. Do you have a short sleeve one? 
Let me check. Yeah, luckily we have one left in size small. That's great. Can I try it? Sure. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Please come as soon as possible. Miss Sarah, where are you? I'm on the way, Mr. Alex. Oh, dear. How long until you arrive? I'm not sure because there's a traffic jam. It's so heavy. Mr. Henry and I are on the way to the airport, but we can't move. Is it because it's raining cats and dogs? Right. So I don't know when we can come to pick you up. I'm still waiting for you in the coffee shop at the airport. I'm afraid that we can't come back on time for the meeting with our partners. Please come as soon as possible. Yes, the weather forecast says the rain lasts for another 15 minutes. I hope I can come soon. Hope so. He became bankrupt. Hey, have you heard about Henry? Henry, our neighbor. That's right. No, what's up? He became bankrupt. Bankrupt? His own company? Yeah, I've heard that he established his own company when he was in university. It's been about seven years now. But what happened? But these days, his company hasn't run smoothly anymore. He owed the banks, but he couldn't sign any new contract. What's he going to do? I heard that he is going to sell his house to pay the debt. Oh, what a pity for him. I hope he can get over his shock and start again. I will try my level best. Don't be so pressured, Anna. Miss Lucy, I am quite nervous. I understand how nervous you feel because I do too. What should I do? Listen to me. I know this presentation is so important. You have prepared so much for this day. But you need to relax yourself. Take it easy. Don't panic. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. That's good. I know there are still a lot of chances, but I have to take any of them. Right, so there is no reason to worry so much. Okay, I will try my level best. Just do that. You are so brave in my eyes. Thank you, Miss Lucy. What nonsense. You know what? What's that? Henry and Anna broke up. What? Are you kidding me? Nope, Julia. Henry has just told me. But why? It's so silly, in my opinion. Anna got angry because Henry forgot to reply to her messages, and she said she wanted to break up. And? Unexpectedly, Henry agreed, so they broke up. Oh, God, how can that happen? What nonsense. I couldn't understand anything either. Just the other day, they were madly in love, and today they broke up for such a silly reason. Don't be ridiculous. Dad, so my birthday is coming. Yeah. May I tell you what I have been desiring for my birthday present? Well, that's okay. I can give you your present in advance. Really? That's amazing, Dad. As long as it's reasonable. But what do you want to buy? Can you buy me a car? What? A car? Yes, Dad. None of my friends have a car. I will be the coolest if I have one. There are reasons why they don't have one. You haven't graduated from high school. You can't drive yet. But... Listen to me, Rio. When you are old enough and have a driving license, we will consider it again. I understand, Dad. Every moment weighed heavily on him. (laughs) 
What's wrong with Tom? <laughs> These days, he hasn't kept in touch with me. You don't know what? What happened? He's having a hard time. I heard nothing from him. His company went bankrupt last year due to the pandemic situation, and this year he just divorced his wife. Oh my God. Every moment weighed heavily on him. What is he doing now? He works at a construction company to earn a living and raise his son. Sad. What do you want from me? Mommy, today you look so beautiful. What's that? Why do you say that today? Is it normal that I'm not pretty? No way! I mean, you look so great in this dress. Sounds strange. What do you want from me? Do you want me to do something for you? You know me so well. Sure. Mom, can you allow me to go camping for two days with my friends? Who are they? Alex and Robert. You know both of them. Why not? Going camping is interesting. And can you give me some money to prepare or buy things? This seems to be the main purpose. Come with me. Anna, where are you now? What's wrong? Why is your voice so sad? I broke up with Alex. <gasps> oh no, when? Today. I'm so sorry to hear that. Where are you? I'm just at home. Come with me, please. I need you. I want to cry. Okay, I will come now. Don't cry, babe. Yeah. Do you want something? Snacks or bubble tea? I just need you to be here with me. I have to leave early today. Julia, ugh, why do you get up so early? Oh, sorry, Anna. I woke you up. No problem. What time is it? Just 5 a.m. You should go back to sleep. But why do you get up so early? Ah, today my company has an important meeting. I am in charge of this meeting, so I have to leave early today. I got it. You should brush your teeth and get dressed. I will make breakfast for you. You were so sweet. Thank you so much. Not at all. I know you were too lazy to make breakfast yourself. Right. Work is important, but so is your health. I know, I know. You're talking like my mother. Both of us care for you. He had a narrow escape. Do you know what happened to Alex and me yesterday? What was that? Do you know Mr. Henry's apple tree next to our house? Of course. It's fruitful, but he's too difficult, so I don't dare to ask. Yes. Yesterday we stole some from his tree. Oh my god! How could you do that? Well, and he knew that. How did he react? Actually... He didn't know exactly that we stole them, but the dog at his gate barked loudly, and he ran out. And? I ran first. How about Alex? He had a narrow escape. What are your likes and dislikes? It's hard to please a girlfriend. What's up? Well, it's nearly my girlfriend's birthday, and I don't know what I should buy for her. Oh. And of course, 
She doesn't tell me what she likes or dislikes, so I have to guess at that. Poor guy. What are your likes and dislikes? As a girl, the thing that we like most is clothes or makeup stuff. Really? Yeah. And the dislikes? Let me see. What's that? Oh, it's so hard and really depends on the characteristics. About me, I hate flowers. Oh, dear. What are you talking about? Have you finished the quiz and assignment that Ms. Hannah gave us? Quiz and assignment? What are you talking about? Don't you know that? Yeah, where are they? She has updated her post on MS Teams for us to do the quiz and assignment instead of going to class. What? Why did I know nothing? How can I know? Do you read the notices often? No, I just knew we wouldn't have to go to school. I didn't know there was homework. Oh my god. When is the deadline? Tuesday. Today is Sunday. I think I can deal with that. Yeah, it's kind of easy. Luckily, you told me that. Join me. Today I have to participate in a seminar. About what? A seminar combined with charitable donations. That's great. Everyone can join and there's buffet service too. Really? Are you free today? Join me. Can I? Sure. I've heard that there are a lot of famous speakers at this seminar. Sounds great. What time will it start? 3 p.m. Okay, let me join. I have no alternative. Why are you at the hotel? I have no alternative. What do you mean? I don't understand. The thing is, yesterday my place had a plumbing problem, so I had to move out for a few days. But I can't go to my parents' house because I have to go to work early. I got it. Your parents' house is so far from here. How about staying at Jenny's house? She also lives alone. I called her, but she didn't answer. It was almost nighttime, so I couldn't go anywhere else. Okay, I see. You can come to my house. Really? Sure. Fortunately, my house is quite close to your company, so it is convenient for you to go to work. It's so nice of you to say that. Nothing much. I feel much better. Julia, that's great to see you back. I have come back to my normal life. How are you now? I feel much better. Is that true? Sure, I overcame him. I'm happy to hear that. You know, now I think we've already broken up and I have no reason to be angry anymore about him. Right. He will have his retribution for what he did to me. You are even stronger than I expected. Circumstances make me strong. I have to be strong. Do I have to? I have something to tell you. Yes, Mr. Alex? About your assignments last week. Have you finished grading them? I have, and you have to do them again. <gasps> what? Why is that, Mr. Alec? 
I found many parts with the same content among groups. I can tell they are all copied. So I will cancel all of them and you will do another one. Oh no. And this time, each group will have their own topic. I will prepare new topics for you. Please help me inform the class about this. Yes, Mr. Alex. You look so stressed these days. Is your work so busy? Kind of. What's that? My school is holding an examination to assess students' abilities, and the examination is on my mind. Ah, I see. So do you need to prepare the questions for them? Yeah, with a teacher. Well, so I think the workload is quite heavy. That's right, but it's quite interesting. I have found out a lot of new information and updated all of it. Good. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.